Right now, scientists are bending light in ways that shouldn't be possible. They're creating photons that exist in multiple states simultaneously, structured in space and time like nothing we've ever seen before. And what they're discovering, it's about to rewrite the rules of communication, security, and reality itself. Today, we're diving into something that sounds like science fiction, but is happening in labs right now. Researchers at Wits University and Barcelona have just published a breakthrough review in Nature Photonics that reveals how we're engineering quantum light itself. This isn't about making things faster or cheaper. This is about fundamentally restructuring how information travels through our universe. And the implications? They're staggering. Let me break this down. Traditional light is already quantum. It's made of photons. But what these researchers have figured out is how to deliberately shape photons in space and time to create what they call high dimensional quantum states. Think of it like this. Regular communication is like sending a letter with one word on it. Quantum structured light is like folding that letter into an origami crane where the shape the folds, the orientation, everything carries information. Each photon becomes a multi-dimensional messenger. Professor Andrew Forbes, who led this research, puts it perfectly. 20 years ago, the toolkit for this was virtually empty. Today, we have on-chip sources of quantum structured light that are compact and efficient. We went from zero to engineering reality at the quantum level in just two decades. Let that sink in. Here's where it gets wild. Traditional quantum communication uses properties like photon polarization, basically up or down, one or zero, that's two dimensional. Structured quantum light uses spatial properties, temporal properties, and spectral properties simultaneously. We're talking about encoding information in hundreds or thousands of dimensions per single photon. One photon can now carry more information than entire streams of traditional photons. And because it's quantum, it's fundamentally secure. Try to intercept it, the quantum state collapses and the sender knows immediately. This isn't incremental improvement. This is orders of magnitude advancement in how much data we can transmit and how securely we can transmit it. But there's a problem. Quantum states are fragile. Send them through real world environments, through fiber optics, through air, through anything, and they degrade. Noise destroys the entanglement that makes quantum communication work. Enter topology. The researchers have discovered how to give quantum states topological properties, mathematical structures that are inherently robust to disturbances. Forbes explains, we have recently shown how quantum wave functions naturally have the potential to be topological, and this promises the preservation of quantum information even if the entanglement is fragile. Translation, they've found a way to protect quantum information by encoding it in the shape of the quantum state itself. It's like writing a message not in the letters, but in the structure of the page. Even if you crumple the page, the structure remains readable. 20 years ago, generating quantum structured light required massive lab equipment. Today, they're doing it on chips smaller than your fingernail. These integrated photonic chips can generate, manipulate, and detect structured quantum light with unprecedented efficiency. They're compact, they're scalable, and they're bringing quantum technology out of the lab and into the real world. This is the iPhone moment for quantum optics. The first generation is here, and it signals a revolution to come. Real-world applications, quantum networks, imagine a quantum internet where each photon carries thousands of times more information than current systems, transmitted with absolute security. No encryption algorithm to break, the laws of physics themselves protect your data. Multiple channels operating simultaneously through single optical fibers, cities connected by quantum networks that can't be hacked because attempting to intercept the signal destroys it. This isn't theoretical. The technology exists now. Quantum imaging and sensing. Structured quantum light enables imaging with resolution and sensitivity impossible with classical light. Medical diagnostics that can see cellular structures without damaging tissue. 
sensors that can detect gravitational waves or map the magnetic fields of individual molecules. The precision is almost unimaginable. We're talking about measuring changes in space-time itself, the holy grail, quantum computing communication. But here's the ultimate application, connecting quantum computers. Right now, quantum computers are isolated islands. Structured quantum light could become the bridges between them, creating distributed quantum computing networks. The computational power wouldn't just add up, it would multiply exponentially. Problems that would take classical computers longer than the age of the universe could be solved in hours. Now, let's be real. This isn't all figured out. Professor Forbes is honest about the obstacles. The distance reach with structured light, both classical and quantum, remains very low. Spatially structured photons don't travel as far as simpler quantum states before degrading. Long distance quantum communication still favors more traditional approaches like polarization based encoding. But here's the thing, every major technological revolution faced similar challenges. The first computers filled entire rooms. The first airplanes barely left the ground. The first cell phones were bricks. And Forbes sees the challenge as opportunity. This is also an opportunity stimulating the search for more abstract degrees of freedom to exploit. The researchers aren't hitting walls. They're finding new dimensions to explore, literally. You know what strikes me? This follows the exact same pattern I've been tracking with AI and autonomous systems. First, we crack the fundamental physics or mathematics. With AI, it was scaling laws. With quantum light, it's topological structuring and on-chip integration. Second, we figure out how to engineer it practically. AI got agents and inference time scaling. Quantum light got integrated photonics and multidimensional encoding. Third, and this is where we are right now, we're on the exponential curve where each breakthrough accelerates the next. The researchers are creating quantum states that help them discover better quantum states. It's the same recursive improvement loop. And we know from AI how fast that can move once it starts. Look, I know this sounds abstract, photons and topology and quantum states. It's not as immediately graspable as robots or chatbots, but this matters more than almost anything else happening in technology right now because information is foundational. Everything we do, communication, computation, sensing, imaging, runs on our ability to transmit and process information. Quantum structured light doesn't just make those things faster, it makes them fundamentally different. It's like the difference between sending smoke signals and having a smartphone. The gap is that large. And unlike previous revolutions that took decades to deploy, this one is moving at quantum speeds. The paper just published represents the state of the art today. Six months from now, it'll be outdated. The researchers say the future looks very bright indeed. I think that's understated. I think we're witnessing the early stages of how the next generation will communicate, compute, and understand reality. As always, there's a choice. You can ignore this because it's complex and quantum and feels distant from your daily life. Or you can understand that every major shift in human civilization has come from learning to manipulate a new fundamental resource. We learn to control fire, then chemical energy, then electrical energy then information through classical computing. Now we're learning to control quantum information itself, to structure light at the most fundamental level physics allows. The people and organizations who understand this first, who build on this foundation while others are still sleeping, they won't just have an advantage, they'll be operating in a different reality. If you want to stay ahead of these shifts, not just in quantum technology, but across AI, robotics, biotech, and every field being transformed right now, subscribe to this channel. I read every comment, so tell me, what applications of quantum structured light are you most excited or concerned about? Because this isn't coming, this thing, this is here. The only question is whether you're paying attention. 
Let's embrace this quantum future together. I'll see you in the next deep dive. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AIR and D-Labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.